Morning, friends. It's Sammy back with another episode of The Daily Dash. That's right. It's everything you need to know from around the world and in my life, straight from my car dashboard to yours. Today is Wednesday, June 10th, 2015, and I am back live on Periscope. So I think I'm live on Periscope. We should see. Yep. Pretty sure. Okay. So here are the stories that you need to know today. First of all, uh, Dennis Hastert appeared in court and pled not guilty. Uh, the airlines are trying to change the size of carry-on bags to make them even smaller than what they already are, which really reduces my money-saving tip of flying with carry-on and not checking a bag. Uh, there is a prison worker, a female prison worker, who has been accused of helping the two escaped convicts in New York. She went to the hospital for a panic attack. Her son is speaking out saying there was no way that she would have helped unless someone in her family was threatened. And big news here in Nashville, CMA Fest starts today. Now, for those of you that have no idea what that means, it's basically uh, what they used to call fanfare. It's the Country Music Association. There's awards tonight. Free concerts start tonight. The kickoff concert runs really all day today downtown. And it's just a huge, it's kind of where country music comes home. So lots of fans here in Nashville, and they literally close off the streets of Broadway. If you saw my picture on Instagram yesterday, you saw the um, the span shell that's right on the river. They were doing sound checks. So lots of free concerts, lots of meet and greets, of course, at the convention center. So we'll see if we make it down. It's a hot one here in Nashville, and I normally turn the car off for the Daily Dash, but it is hot. We're reaching 90s now. So leaving the car running. So if you hear a little hum in the background, that's what's going on. Okay. So that's what's going on around the world. What's going on in my life. So I'm trying this now, like I said, live on Periscope and of course going to be posting on YouTube. And so, uh, hang on. Have you ever been to the inn at Fontenelle? Oh, thank you for, I asked a question about Fontenelle. I realize I turned this sideways and I can't turn my head unless I see it like that. So uh, the Inn at Fontenelle, I was asked, I've been there for a Christmas event. I've never stayed there. It's just north of Nashville, but it's lovely. Uh, very fun, very, very neat area. Actually, I think Southern Living or Better Homes and Gardens did one of their kind of uh, model homes there. So that's really cool. And they've turned that into a place where you can actually stay now. So that's an interesting fact about Fontenelle. I believe John Rich actually owns some of it or used to own it or has a stake in it think Barbara Mandrell used to live there. So I'm just throwing out country music facts like I know. I've only lived here six years, but that's what I hear. So let me tell you about Periscope though. So some of you are watching live. Some of you are going to watch this later. Yesterday was my first time on Periscope and there was someone that was chatting, I guess, on Periscope. You can not only watch live, but you can actually, uh, basically put chat messages up like someone that had just asked, uh, about Fontenelle. You're so welcome. But someone was putting up some pretty vulgar things here yesterday, and it really affected me, honestly. Not just like, oh, there's something popping up as I'm talking live, but as someone that has been a victim of sexual abuse multiple times, unfortunately, it was amazing how I just felt myself begin to shrink in a little bit, uh, just from some spammer throwing up some, like I said, erotic slash, erotic isn't even the right word, just vulgar things on here. And so... For anyone that has been bullied, for anyone that has been cyberbullied, for anyone that is a cyberbully, you cannot steal my joy. You cannot steal my power. You cannot steal anything from me unless I give you the permission. So I'm not giving you permission. So if you have ever been a victim, stand up for yourself. Say no to it. Let someone else know. The worst thing you can do is keep it inside of you and not share with someone else. So. Just to let you know, this is going to be a spam-free zone, and I'm here to stand up for anyone that uh, is a victim because I've been through enough over my almost 40 years of life to know that the worst thing you can do is just to lay down and take it, literally. So stand up, and victim is the right word. Anyone that's a victim of sexual abuse, doesn't matter who you are, you are a victim. So stand up, fight against. That's all I'm going to say on that. So moving on for what we're doing today. Uh, my daughter actually has an interview for a school today. Uh, we're still debating where she's going to go to junior high. Uh, so we're doing an interview at a private school. Uh, right now they're in public school. And she actually doesn't want to go to the private school. 
But for me, I want her to have the experience. I said, I would rather have you say no to them than them say no to you. And you don't know what you're going to come up against. Every experience is an opportunity. So for her to be able to go into this interview and just have the experience of it, even better that she thinks she doesn't want to go to the school, <laughs> there's no, there should be no pressure. So we're going to be doing that. My son got to meet the entire rookie lineup of the Tennessee Titans yesterday, including Mariota. Mom, for, well, he didn't tell me that that was going on, and I don't know if he knew, but smart kid pulled out his uh, camp t-shirt and got them to sign the camp t-shirt, so I was proud of him for that. That was cool. And what else is going on today? Um, hosting my online Bible study tonight, so we'll be doing that. So I'm going to get going. I hope you guys have a great day wherever you are. Thanks so much for watching here. Make sure you check out everything else on SammyCone.com. Also, a little shout out here. This is not promoted, but almost everything I'm wearing, I realize, is from Nordstrom's. Nordstrom, I have stuff, everything from Nordstrom Jr., which is all of these pieces are actually Nordstrom Jr., um, and I also have plus size things from Nordstrom, so it's kind of interesting that you run the gamut. People love this hat. It was like $14. Um, this is actually was a $6 necklace from Nordstrom, so people think, ooh, Nordstrom. Uh, yeah, just saying, it is a great place to shop, especially for some fun basics, especially for the summer and the juniors. Don't let size be the guide. Just go with what works and what fits. Okay. Peace out, y'all. Hope you have a great day wherever you are. Make sure you make it great. Bye.